Today I'm going to show you um, a very important sperm functional test, the sperm cervical mucus penetration test. Uh, it's a very important test in the sense that it, the sperm has to cross that very first barrier, the cervix, and we must try and imitate the process as accurately as we can. In the past, cervical mucus have been used to test sperm, but this is problematic. And so I'm going to show you a very, very simple technique which has been uh, developed some time ago and has been published by Mortimer in 2013. And here we actually look at the motility of spermatozoa and their ability to move in the seminal plasma. The whole idea is that the seminal plasma has more or less the same viscosity and characteristics as cervical mucus and accordingly it is a very easy method to challenge the sperm of a male with its own seminal plasma. One problem though is that the sperm concentration can be too high, above 30 million, uh, and makes it uh, very difficult to, to measure accurately the, the, the features of sperm cervical mucus penetration. In, in that instance, when the sperm concentration is too high, we can actually dilute it with seminal plasma and we can easily obtain seminal plasma by spinning a small part of the sample down uh, in a centrifuge. So let me uh, show you very briefly how the technique works. I have already now determined the sperm concentration in the sample, which is around about 20 million sperm per milliliter. And so this is absolutely ideal. Uh, uh, for testing, for challenging the sperm in the seminal plasma. I'm now going to hand the sample over to MSC student Shannon Kaiser. It's pre-warmed as well as the tips are pre-warmed. She will now set the microscope to the ideal optical conditions for measuring sperm motility under positive phase contrast. She will inject approximately two to three microliters of the pre-warmed semen in the layer chamber uh, which have also been heated to 37 degrees centigrade. We leave the slide there for about a period of about 30 seconds just for the sperm to settle. Then move it in the microscopic field and we will start the capturing process now which will involve capturing of approximately 250 motile sperm um, and we will then show you the detailed process of how the software analyzes this and not only how it analyzes it but also how it classifies the sperm according to very specific criteria as passing the sperm cervical mucus penetration test. These characteristics are typically an average path velocity of approximately 25, above 25 micrometers per second, a straightness of 80%, and then an ALH value of above 2.5 and less than 7.5 microns, micrometers. After selecting the motility module of the sperm class analyzer, we have captured two fields um, and we want to analyze now the number of sperm that have actually penetrated sperm cervical mucus. So let's just look at one of these fields as an example. And it can be seen that we've set it on progression. And so if we start playing the, the video, it is clear that we can follow the sperm quite accurately and the red ones indicate of course the progressive sperm and the blue ones the less progressive sperm. We can look also in a different way of at the, uh, those sperm that have actually passed or uh, passed mucus penetration test. These will be shown with blue squares one can also see that the sperm swimming through these squares um, are indeed very, the very progressive ones and uh, if we put that on progression it can clearly be seen that it rep represents almost all the 
the red sperm and these sperm all have the same have made the same criteria in other words uh, average path velocity of more than 25 micrometers per second a straightness of 80 percent and an ALH more than 2.5 and less than 7.5 if we now view the results and we go to the second results screen in SCA we can look at the motile fraction and see the sperm that passed the mucus penetration test we don't really look at the percentage but we look at the number of sperm that in the ejaculate and in this particular case it would represent 7.5 million sperm in the ejaculate so one doesn't even need to calculate the concentration to know this which makes it really very very accurate because you can make mistakes with concentration and what is the minimum cutoff point the minimum cutoff point is 5 million and here we have 7.5 million in other words in this particular case the uh, patient um, has <coughs> a, a sperm that are potentially able to fertilize the egg as it exceeds the minimum of 5 million for sperm cervical mucus penetration this brings us to the uh, end of this sperm cervical mucus penetration test Shannon can you give us our uh, your impression about this it's very convenient, easy to do, and less time consuming than doing the actual ovulation. How long did it take you about? A few seconds. Yeah, it's very fast. And one can, maybe if the sperm concentration is very low, one can uh, capture three or four more fields. But it is um, generally quite a fast procedure. And what is more important is it provides not only motility characteristics, uh, of a sperm in semen but it actually provides by using these cutoff points extremely valuable information as to ability to penetrate the cervical mucus. Thank you.